What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I have some insane news for you guys today. If you weren't aware, the Series 6 rules were just announced, and man, they're kind of wacky. So if, if you don't know, uh, every couple of months we actually adjust the rules in Pokemon, and it just kind of, you know, changes the metagame slightly. Usually it's been adding new Pokemon, but this month they're going to be removing some Pokemon, which is kind of wacky. Basically they, uh, according to Cerebi, took the top 10 Pokemon from both doubles and singles and just outright banned them. So uh, for the next who knows how long, I'm hoping it's actually going to be a couple of months because by banning these new Pokemon, uh, there's going to be a lot of theory crafting and shifts in the meta uh, that need time to happen. Uh, and please excuse me, that's my phone alarm, uh, that, that need to happen. So if they allow us to have um, this metagame stick around for a couple of months, uh, it would be pretty, pretty interesting, at least until the Isle of Armor is what I'm hoping for. So if you want to know the full list of banned Pokemon, here it is. Let me go ahead and go through it. So Venusaur is now banned, and that includes Gigantamax Venusaur, which means Sun Teams have taken a major hit. Now, we did already have Charizard that was a powerful Sun Pokemon, and spoiler, it's not banned in this format. Oh, and sorry, do me a favor, leave a like on the channel, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you guys want to stay updated on this sort of thing. I am a competitive Pokemon channel if you're new. But yeah, Venusaur is going to be a huge hit to Sun Teams because the premier Chlorophyll Sweeper and Sleep Powder Spammer is no longer allowed in the format. If you don't know, prior to uh, Venusaur being released in Series 3, uh, Sun Teams were actually using Vileplume, which is kind of lame. They might actually switch over to Lilligant now. However, I think Sun just might not be viable at all, and I'll get into why that is in a, in a moment here. Next up is Gyarados, more popular in singles than in doubles at the moment, I believe. If we look at Isle of Armor, it looks like Gyarados is not in top 10 uh, for either VGC Showdown or Battle Stadium doubles, so it's most likely coming from the singles metagame. Let me double check real quick. Um, Battle Stadium singles. Yeah, it's coming from the singles metagame. So, Gyarados, not a huge hit to doubles, however, it was picking up in usage because of Rillaboom being popular, so I think Gyarados being banned is kind of huge. Um, it's essentially a major offensive threat uh, to a lot of things in the field. It's able to knock out things like uh, Rillaboom or Cinderace in one hit, uh, possibly two if they're dealing with Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, however, not, not a major loss to doubles, but still a very, very interesting one. Something that is going to be a major loss to doubles, Porygon 2. Now, Porygon 2 is probably the best Trick Room setter we have right now. It would tend to run something like Trick Room, Recover, Tri-Attack, either Tri-Attack or Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Uh, and with Download, it was able to increase its special attack stat and become a major threat. And with the Evil Light, it's very difficult to knock out. So uh, the irony of the situation is during the Players' Cup, they're going to be <laughs> they're going to be distributing a battle-ready Porygon 2, uh, and now you're no longer allowed to use it. So that's that's super interesting. I'm curious to see what Trick Room Setter will take its role here. Um, I'm going to assume Dusclops, because Dusclops is not on the list of banned Pokemon. Um, I think it could be... Yeah, it's pro we're probably going back to Dusclops, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what What's that one meme? It's like, uh, reject tradition... In, no, reject modern modernization, embrace reality, I forget, reject modernity, embrace re embrace tradition, that's what it was, I'm stupid. So yeah, uh, we're going to have to have a new Trick Room Setter come to uh, the front of the metagame. Tyranitar being banned is kind of huge, uh, one of the most obvious weakness policy Pokemon is now no longer allowed, so that will actually, and it's also the best Sandstream Pokemon. I'm going to make a call and say Gigalith will pick up in usage now, which I'm already pretty familiar with. I was messing around with Gigalith for the longest time, uh, and it has some potential uh, as a Sandstream Pokemon. Uh, not that Sandstream is going to be all that useful, because something else got banned as well, and I think you know what its name is. Uh, it rhymes with Smexcadrill. So next up we have Torkoal being banned, and this is the reason that I don't personally think that Sun's going to be much, pretty viable at all. I, I feel like without Torkoal, being a good Trick Room option on a Sun Team, uh, you're left with just Nine Tails, which is kind of eh, it's kind of lame. It, it's fast. It's able to hit hard. It's able to set up the Sun. Uh, however, its special attack says pretty middling. Um, I think that's the only thing that could replace Torkoal in its role. Uh, so I 
am very, very sad to see Torkoal go. Sun's gonna take a huge hit. Next up, Hippowdon, more from the singles metagame. Now, it's it's not huge for the doubles metagame, but the thing is, this would have been the replacement for Tyranitar as far as Sandstream setting goes. Um, and now it's definitely just gonna be Gigalith. So uh, yeah, Hippowdon, uh, not a huge loss for doubles, but uh, my roommate's a big man, a big fan of him, so uh, he's not gonna be happy that Hippowdon's gone. Magnezone. So, Magnezone, I believe, is more of a singles Pokemon. Yes, it is. Oh, wait. No? Is it more of a doubles Pokemon? I've been out of the loop for a minute. Wow. Uh, not in top 10 for either of these Pokemon, so I'm curious as to why that got banned. Most likely from singles. Uh, it's an analytic Pokemon, and that is, once again, my morning alarm, because I'm recording this early. So it's an analytic Pokemon, uh, that's usually the ability it runs because if it goes second it's able to hit super super hard and it's a very threatening Dynamaxmon. Uh, Max Steel Spike if it goes second is going to boost its defense and hit you like a truck so you definitely don't want to take that. Uh, I feel like as far as electric types in this format, we have been kind of lacking, maybe Dracozult can pick up the slack. Steel types, we probably are now going to run Corviknights. The format, after losing these massively offensive threats uh, is probably going to become a lot more bulky in my opinion. Speaking of offensive threats and bulky, we're losing Togekiss, which a lot of people aren't too upset to see go. Um, I know a lot of people said like, oh yeah, I don't actually like Togekiss, I feel like we see it way too much. Uh, so that's interesting. One of the best redirection Pokemons as well uh, as the premier super luck Pokemon uh, is now out of the question. It's no longer going to be allowed in the format. So. I'm curious to see what's going to take its spot, especially considering spoilers in Didi has been banned as well. Uh, so we need some better redirection Pokemon. It's likely going to be Clefairy that steps up uh, as a support Pokemon. Uh, however, to fill Togekiss' offensive role, uh, I'm not entirely certain what's going to what's going to hop in for that. Excadrill being banned. The best ground type in the format is now out of the question. It is banned. Also, possibly the best steel type in the format. Uh, basically, it was just a Pokemon that liked to abuse Sand Rush and or uh, run Mold Breaker, or I guess not and or, just or, uh, would run Mold Breaker to help deal with Rotom Forms and Levitators. However, now that the Rotom Forms aren't quite as useful, um, or at least they previously weren't useful because the starters, Cinderace and Rillaboom became a lot more viable, uh, it would only really run Sand Rush in the previous format. Now that it's gone, I'm going to say probably Mudsdale. It's not going to be as fast, but with Rillaboom off the table, that's been banned as well. Obviously, you guys know it's it's banned by now. Um, I would say Mudsdale becomes a lot more viable, and so does Rotom Wash. So, Whimsicott. This has also been banned. Probably one of the best Tailwind setters uh, is now no longer allowed. Uh, it was also a good prankster Pokemon with fake tears, etc. I would say as far as Tailwind goes, we're going to see a lot more Talonflame. Uh, some people were like, oh, maybe we'll see, maybe we'll see like Sableye or, or Meowstic, you know, come into the fray. However, I, this thing, it, it's, its biggest tool was Tailwind, so we're probably going to see more Talonflame than actual other prankster Pokemon, in my opinion. You could use Cottony. That could be hilarious if Cottony rose in usage. So, next up we have Incineroar, probably the best Intimidator in the format. Fake out, Parting Shot, Intimidate, Flare Blitz, pretty good bulk, the ability to run Safety Goggles to avoid sleep from... Venusaur or Amoongus. Um, pretty sad to see it go, however, there are other Intimidators that could take its place. Not Gyarados, no longer able to run Gyarados. Uh, we're probably going to see a lot more Arcanine now that <laughs> now that a lot of Arcanine's major checks are out of the format. Excadrill's gone, Tyranitar's gone. Yeah, um, Arcanine's probably going to be the best Intimidator at this point. Mimikyu. Now, Mimikyu is more from singles. It was an amazing singles Pokemon. Uh, we basically just lost a somewhat niche Trick Room setter in our format, uh, and also a Pokemon to self-proc weakness policy on Dragapult with Shadow Sneak. So, not, not too much of a loss for singles, or, or not too much of a loss for doubles. Next up, Indeedee. Now, Indeedee, both of the forms are banned, which I'm upset about because male form wasn't quite as popular as female form. However, uh, we're just going to explain what we lost in the, in the terms of male form. So, we lost a Follow Me Pokemon. A, or in the female form. We lost our only Psychic Surge Pokemon, a Follow Me Pokemon, an Imprisoned Trick Rumor, uh, and yeah, honestly, it was a pretty interesting Pokemon to see function of the format, and I'm not entirely sure what's going to take its spot. 
Next up, we have G-Max Rillaboom, uh, the most offensively threatening grass type ever, probably. <laughs> Except for Tapu Bulu, I mean, but this thing can Dynamax, so we can't really compare them. We lost a great fake out Pokemon, a amazingly powerful Grassy Glide user, and one of the strongest Dynamax options ever. I think that as far as things that are going to replace it, maybe now that Cinderace and Incineroar are gone, Ferrothorn may come back. However, Ferrothorn is more of a defensive option than a uh, fast physical option, so uh, who knows what will actually come in for Rillaboom. We lost Grassy Surge right when we got it too. Now, probably the Pokemon I'm most excited to see go is Cinderace. Now, Cinderace was a very, very fast Pokemon, and it wasn't just a fire type. It was able to change its type with the ability Libero. Uh, so you had no idea what type it was going to be until it clicked something. It was usually just going to be clicking Max Airstream and Max Knuckle, uh, possibly Max Steel Spike. In fact, it functions so much better as those types than a fire type than that Like some people weren't even running G-Max Fireball on their uh, G-Max Cinderace because it was just, you know, it was an aesthetic thing at that point. Um, you didn't really need the fire move if you had like Incineroar on the team, so very happy to see this thing go. Greninja isn't in the format, so we have nothing really to compare it to. Uh, we really just lost a super, super threatening Dynamax Pokemon. And finally, maybe competing with the face of VGC with Togekiss, like it's competing with Togekiss for the face of VGC. This thing is gone. Dragapult is now gone. The fastest Pokemon in the format. Barring, you know, Ninjask, not that it matters, because um, that thing's bad. It, the fastest thing in the Pokemon, an amazing Dynamax option, something that could click Max Airstream, be physical or special, is now gone. And probably one of the most versatile options in the format, no longer allowed. As far as Dragon types that could take its spot, there aren't many. I would say Duraludon can rise slightly in usage, not that it was too threatened by Dragapult, unless it was special anyways. Um, I would say possibly Flygon, considering I think that's the next fastest Dragon type. Not that Flygon's all that threatening, but uh, now it doesn't have to deal with this thing outspeeding it and KOing it. So I I'm I'm not entirely certain it's going to take its spot. It's got to be another Dragon type. I would say probably maybe Kamoa, now that we also lost a couple of, a lot of really good fairy types. Kamoa could actually take its spot. So I'm, I'm not certain, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this ban list. I just decided to record this video and, and my thoughts on it uh, briefly before I go to work today. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you liked, um, and question of the day, tell me who you think is going to be the Pokemon that benefits most from all these bans. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.